This is Twit. You cannot set this up unless you own an iPhone or an iPad. Which is really, because I am trapped in the prison of using this Pixel 2 oh, phone how did for you two set more weeks with the iPad. Um, but oh, I subscribe God. to Apple Music and I have the Apple Music app on this Pixel. It seems like I should be able to use it. No. I'm already paying fourteen ninety nine no. a month, No, um, but I can't. To its credit, setup is the easiest ever. Yes. Of course, that's because you're not doing Bluetooth. You're really not doing much at all. Uh, what you'll do is uh, you'll you'll have your phone next to it when you turn it on, just like the AirPods. I can't do it because it's already set up, mm -hmm. but just like the you AirPods. You could reset it if you wanted to. But How would I, I do that? You, to. Um, you unplug it, and yeah. then you plug it back in, and you just hold it down. If you okay. need to reset, you just keep holding Should it down. Should we do that? Can you, I don't, I can mean, you easily unplug it, or is it far, far away? I can away? easily unplug mine. No, no, John okay. can unplug it for us. So, so here's how to reset your I home pod. Unplug it. Mm -hmm. And when I say to plug it in, should I be holding this when he plugs no, it in? No, right after he plugs it okay. in. And now you just keep holding it and don't stop holding it. Don't stop it's till it's you white, get it enough. And then it's going to turn red. It's turned red. And then it's supposed to beep three times. And mine never did beep, but then it restarted. And then she'll say, I'm about to restart. Are you sure? Don't lift up your finger. Just keep your finger on there. Your home pod is about to reset. Keep pressing until you hear three beeps. So now it's reset. Okay, so now we've got a HomePod. Now what do I do now to set it up? Now, do we have to unplug it and plug it back in, or, or does it just restart? Maybe and unplug it and plug it back in just to, just to be or safe. Or just wait. Actually, no, wait a minute. It's, re it's actually resetting because it's not responding, okay, so, so I think it's okay. So then it'll, so it's, there, now, and now it'll say hello. Okay, now watch my, watch yeah, my watch phone. Watch the screen. It's so easy. It makes a nice sound when it starts it up, too. It does make a, that's the alarm <clears> sound, too. Have you used it to set an alarm? No. I like that. Another limitation. One timer at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's that nice sound. So that's the, the, the sound that says I'm set up, I'm running. Now it's going to be looking, I think, it's going to be looking for my phone. And your Wi-Fi. You're, you're on Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. Well, no, it, initially it doesn't need Wi-Fi. It doesn't know Wi-Fi. So oh, it's, right. not, it's not going to be looking for that. What it'll do is get the Wi-Fi settings from your phone. Mm -hmm. there, there you go. go. Isn't that neat? I think that's really nice. Yeah. This is about as easy a setup as I've ever seen. Now, that's a limited of limited use because you only do this once. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, where should you I want, put you this one? I think it's going to be my kitchen. You might want to, I don't know, maybe now, set it up this. in your home office. Enable personal requests. Allow anyone to use this HomePod to send and read messages, add reminders, create notes, and more with this iPhone when it's connected to the same Wi-Fi. Now, the reason they give you a choice is if you don't want somebody to take, get you see your calendar, mm -hmm. like say you've got hostile roommates, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to turn that on, but now I'm going to enable it because I trust you. Now it's going to transfer settings. Now notice it's limited. It's limited. It will only transfer a few of the settings, Apple Music, Siri, location settings. Uh, be mm. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I think that's great. So this sets up very easily, very quickly. Really, the setup <clears throat> is only, it is really only two things are happening. <clears throat> One, you're giving it a name for its location. And you do want to choose that name and remember it because that's how you'll airplay to it. And two, you're putting it on your Wi-Fi network. So it's getting, you don't have to enter the password or anything. It's getting that from your phone once you give it permission now you said only one timer can you set more than one timer on the echo yes oh. you multiple timers you can have named timers uh oh, okay oh, now, now it wants my password time. i'll do that real quickly off okay. camera i did not know you could set multiple timers that's interesting you can even name them so you can say set a timer for the cheese fondue oh. and set a timer for the string beans mm. and then you could say what's my string bean timer and have you gotten it to read your text messages yet will it do that yeah, it will, but you that's a limit. Uh, you have to, this is on the Google Home you're talking about? No, no, on the... Um, on the Siri? Yeah. I don't know, will Your it? So my HomePod is ready now. It made that little boom. So it's all set up. So I can get it. Hey, Siri, read my messages. You can turn personal requests on or off in the Home app associated with this HomePod. Okay, the voice. Mine is male, yours is female. I didn't change it. Is that just what we Because your Siri's or? male. Okay. Now, notice I didn't choose that music. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's it's configuring itself for the sound, and the, there's no manual way that I know of to to trigger that. That's playing Tommy. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice. That's not Tommy. What is it? I don't know what it is. Anyway, it's uh, it's there's no way I know of to trigger that. It just does it every whatever you're playing music, it will adjust itself. Again, you want to keep it more than six inches away from any surface. I know people are going to push it against the wall. Be better if you didn't. I think that sounds really good. Here, let's listen. So it 
knew that it was from the country music I played earlier. Huh. I mean, again, when you listen to that in a, in a vacuum, you go, wow, that bass is amazing. Uh, what is absolutely true is the sound is absolutely clear. There's no distortion. Uh, there's great detail. Given that it's a single source, there's good imaging, but you're never going to have good a good sound stage is what they call it, you know, where you're getting the sound coming from the whole area. It's going to be very difficult to do that, even computationally with a single source speaker like that. And the best part is, and this is why I put it in the kitchen, you can, when I'm cooking, I can move around anywhere in the kitchen, and it all sounds equally good because of those tweeters all the way around it. Same thing if you're at a party. This would be great, but put it close to the dancing. But this would be, I think, loud enough for, you know, a good good sized party. You know, not 100 people, but for 30 or 40 people, you could have a good time. It's a great apartment speaker. Uh, so there's a lot of good uses for it. But A, you have to be in the Apple ecosystem. You have to have an iPhone and iPod. B, Siri is not full. It is a limited Siri, uh, and the capabilities are limited. As I mentioned, when AirPlay 2 comes out sometime this year, Apple's not giving a hard date, They'll you'll be able to pair this with another speaker, make a stereo pair. We'll re-listen to it at that time. That might make a difference. And uh, and you'll be able to do multi-room sound, which is something that the Sonos does so well, where you can have a really have a party and have a uh, one or two or more HomePods in every room, and then... The sky. Then you could have a hundred. Then you're you could have a thousand home pods. Supposedly, if there are multiple home pods in a single room, even now, it'll recognize that and it'll kind of shape the sound using all the home pods. Mm. Not sure what that means. We've never had a chance to do that. This is the first time I've I've seen another home pod. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty.